Hello everybody, thank you for tuning in to another episode of NotAnalog.com. Today I'm looking at a 3D laptop and it's uh, <clears throat> from Toshiba. Um, I will get into the laptop. I'm going to mention the Mo. I'm growing a moustache for November, so I'm not normally looking like this. Probably by the next review or two, you'll probably see me without it, back to normal again. So anyway, this Toshiba, the P750, 15.6 inch screen on this Toshiba. Now this one's beefed up. This one is really, really done up. In fact, you'd say it's a, it's souped up. It's a souped up laptop, 8 gig of RAM, quad core i7 processor, um, Nvidia graphics card, which can do the whole 3D gaming. Um, it is just a beefy unit, 750 gig hard drive, so much built into it. It's even got DLNA built in. It's got um, it's Harman Kardon speakers. I really got to show it to you. But um, I just want to do this little intro because then once we get into it, you won't really see these uh, amazing glasses for so much longer. But I will say that the 3D experience on this laptop is, is pretty good. I can really see 3D gaming become a big deal um, in the future. I think it's going to change the game. You can also view 3D images on here as well, um, which is which is just incredible. It really does. You really do get that sense of depth. It actually works very well. In terms of actually using the computer, you take glasses off um, and things like that. There is a section. I guess you can watch 3D movies. Um, I'm just playing in just a, the standard Windows movie now, but um, that's pretty pretty cool as well. So. Um, to talk about some of the other specs, it weighs 2.6 kilos, so it's not the lightest laptop. This is not a laptop for traveling. I think that's a given. You wouldn't, I don't expect you to travel with this. Um, I'll also show you the charger. The charger on this thing is massive. It just shouldn't be, be put in a bag. I really think that this is for someone who you know, wants to be portable within the home, but not portable completely where they have to you know, fly around with it and things like that. So it suits a certain niche as they always do. So like I said, 2.6 kilos, so a little bit of the weight is there. About five hours battery life, so it really isn't your travel laptop obviously as well. Um, now the one thing which does let it down from a specifications point of view without really looking at it, the, uh, the hard drive is only a 5400 RPM drive. Now that might mean completely goggly gook to you, but what it ultimately means is that it's writing speed to the hard drive. So when you transfer files, when you read files, um, is 5400 RPM, which is a little bit slower for today's standards. I think you can get up to 7500 now. And that's the only thing that lets it down because it's got so much processing power with the quad core. It's got a ton of RAM and things like that. So that's the only part which lets it down. So when you do the Windows scoring, um, it gets the lowest possible score based on, on the hard drive. Um, so what I'm going to do, show you the insides of this laptop right now, take these off because they're a little weird wearing them without uh, any use and I'll show you what it looks like. Alright, so this is the uh, laptop right here. So I didn't mention before there is a webcam at the top, it's obviously extremely uh, dark so you won't see a lot of it. Um, the big selling point here, 3D vision, completely, completely cool. The screen's great, it's got an LED backlit screen, um, so the images which it does produce are just amazing. Um, looking at it from the top here, you'll see the Harman Kardon speakers, uh, the power button, an eco button to um, you know, put into eco mode, the uh, wireless light obviously, the 3D enabling button, uh, play pause, mute and some volume uh, buttons. These are all touch, this one's click, so which, I, which, which I'm glad about. The, uh, the keyboard is also backlit and it's got the sort of the, the chiclet sort of style buttons. Um, and you've also got the full numpad on the side, so with the uh, smaller laptops, they usually cut that part out. So the laptop is usually this big, so this is really great if you've got um, a lot of calculations to do, maybe you do accounting or something like that. Super handy to have that, but they just throw it in when you get the extra screen width, screen width anyway. Um, you can see obviously another light here for the touchpad. It's also got um, pinch to zoom functions and things like that, so it's multi-touch. Um, and you've also got the option to turn the touchpad off, so when you do that, um, you know, it won't get in the way. So if you're using an external keyboard and mouse and here you are typing, you're not going to accidentally click anything. Um, but I just like, I like using the touchpad. The buttons are a little bit clicky. Um, you know, they sound a little bit hard. Uh, I would have preferred a bit more of a softer touch button. So that's, a, you know, a bit of a letdown, but uh, obviously they're going to work fine. They sound quite, quite solid. I don't think they're going to break easily at all. Um, and obviously here you can hear, see some of the uh, fancy stickers like your shopping list and the satellite thing lights up as well, which is cool. Um, over here, some simple sort of indicator lights. You know, it's plugged into my charger, it's on, the battery is charging, hard disk light's flashing because I'm playing some video content, um, you know, not transferring any files, the wireless light is on, I'm connected to my wireless network as well. 
So super simple little wireless, uh, not a wireless, <laughs> there's a memory stick slot here um, for SD cards, uh, Sony memory stick and XD cards as well which I thought was quite cool. Looking at it from this side, uh, we've got uh, USB and another USB which also does the um, charging while sleeping as well which is really really handy. Um, HDMI output which you can actually also do 3D HDMI output to a 3D TV so if you're watching something on here output it out to your 3D TV and you can just uh, chuck your glasses on ready to go um, obviously gigabit LAN port RGB for um, VGA output into a screen uh, just a heat vent and over on this side is actually an antenna input so you can plug a, uh, your antenna in and start watching TV on your satellite so moving across I apologize for all the shaking if it is, it's uh, all handheld. Um, headphone and microphone input, another two USB ports. A Blu-ray player which um, performs amazingly well as well with the DVD burner. It's not a Blu-ray burning machine but it does burn DVDs. Uh, the charging slot and obviously the lock hole as well. On the back there's completely nothing. Um, obviously you can see the actual screen does tuck into the back so there's nothing else there to it. Now one thing I want to talk about is this texture, this this finish that they've put on the on the laptop is just beautiful and it's the exact same on the back as well when you look at look at this it's just a beautiful feel looks really elegant and classy uh, it's just it's just gorgeous so ultimately this is what the uh, this is what the satellite looks like okay what I've done is I've just opened up one of the 3D images now you can see it's obviously quite quite blurry um, but obviously when I chuck these glasses on whoop, when I chuck these glasses on um, you can't obviously see the depth because you're watching it on a computer but you can see how the image is clearing up on these uh, through the lenses so it's just actually really does make the whole image just quite immersive I mean you're looking down a road here and I can tell you it's just an incredible incredible view um, I'm going to uh, show you the charger. Alright, so this is what the charger looks like. Obviously it's just a very, very thick unit. Really, really heavy, um, quite bulky device. So if you're planning on traveling, you probably don't want to be taking um, taking this laptop too far and too much. I think it's just going to be too much of a burden. Alright guys, that, that really is as far as I can go with laptop. Um, on the inside, it's just a typical Windows 7 machine. So if you've ever seen Windows 7 before, that's what it looks like. I don't want to show you too much of that because it's much of a muchness. When you're looking at buying PCs, you know, you really are just looking at the specifications and how it all works. The hugest selling point for this is just the amount of power it's going to provide for the price. I think for any student or any mum and dad who's looking to get rid of their computer and replace with a laptop so they can, you know, use it in the lounge room, use it around the house and not be too concerned. This is a good unit for it. The added value is the entertainment part of it as well, you know, 3D gaming, um, looking at 3D images and, and obviously watching 3D movies as well is, is pretty cool and I think the fact that it is a portable 3D unit uh, really shows how times have changed and so it's exciting to me. Um, I obviously also see these as a great fashion accessory as well, I think we're, we're going a long way. Um, look, I, I really do like the, like the laptop, I think it's just got so much power. Um, and there's not a whole lot that you can't do on it. It's, 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 it's a great unit. There are some disadvantages just in the small things. I think that charger is just way too big. Um, it's scary how big it is. Ultimately, it's great. It really comes down to what you need and where it fits. And I've, from what I've seen in the Toshiba product line, they're going to try and suit everybody. I've, re I've reviewed a uh, Toshiba laptop before and it was a bit smaller. Um, and that really did sit sort of in the more portable but uh, more portable category. This one really is your home entertainment, your workhorse. This is this is the one that's going to get your work done. If you have any questions, please uh, send me an email. Um, hit me up on Twitter or Facebook, and I'm pretty. Uh, I'm trying to be pretty quick to respond to people. So come at me. Let me know what's going on, and um, I hopefully won't have the mow on for too much longer either. Thank you for watching.